what's up YouTube back with a quick video it's been a while since I um, been a while since I made a video so decided to come on back do one more not one more but try to get back in the swing of it uh, so I'll start with these 29 these 2020 babies that I just hashed out uh, they just actually had their first meal this is a pair of super orange dream inches alright guys so next uh, we're gonna show these double hit animals uh, a couple double hits that I held back. This is a female leopard double hit ultra clown. Uh, she's actually uh, she's pretty big. She's like a month old man. <laughs> Believe it or not, she's a good eater. So she about to, she hatched in. Um, I want to say she hatched like at the beginning of October or November. She like she hatched like the beginning of November, I believe. And she's a uh, she's a double hit ultra male clown female. So yeah, we're gonna hold her back, of course, for breeding. Um, looking to make some some nice animals with her. She came from my big uh, my big clown girl bred to my leopard ultra male. All right, guys. So up next is another whole back female. Uh, she's a, just a single. She's a single gene mahogany female that I'm keeping back for breeding. Uh, guys, probably like why are you keeping back just a normal mahogany? Well, she's a, I think I need another mahogany female just for breeding purposes. I got, um, I actually have a mahogany spot nose female that I have that's breeding right now to my leopard ultra male. But, you know, you can never have too many mahoganies. Oh, she got a little stuck shit on her neck. I didn't see that. Yeah, I didn't see it. But anyway, but yeah, this is another whole bad girl, man. Beautiful mahogany. I always liked the mahogany gene. When I first got into ball pythons, they was a little expensive, so I couldn't really afford them, but, you know. Now, you know, pretty much gonna they uh drop down they drop down good and I produce this one for my male. Alright you two, back with another uh twenty nineteen baby. I didn't produce this one. I actually uh purchased this one from uh cold blooded Morse, I think. Cold blooded exotics. Or uh Michael Michael Cole. Can't remember. His for his name, but his last name is Cole. You probably follow him on uh, at least on Facebook or something. But yeah, this is um, a female clown, head out your meal, posse pied. So big plans for this girl. Wish she was a better eater, but you know, I'll talk to I talked to the breeder about it. He said she was a good eater at his at his house, but she kind of been uh, kind of sporadic with the eating on mine. She'll eat, you know, she'll eat for the most part. It's not somewhere I'm worried about her weight. As you can see, she, she still, she's thick. But she just, uh, sometimes she'll kill the rat and she won't eat it. Or she'll take frozen thaws, she'll wrap it up and, you know, but she won't eat it. But sometimes she'll eat it. So it's just like, you know, it's when she feel like it, man. I'm not going to rush her. I'm going to take my, you know, let her grow up as, as her, at her own speed. And hopefully, you know. She'll be two thousand grams, and or hopefully she she starts eating a little a little uh, better with time, you know. So that's one thing about animals, man. You can't make them do anything. They just going they gonna do what they want to do. I All right, guys. Next up, this female. I actually thought about selling, and I'm kind of glad I did. Now I'm looking at her. I looked at her today, and I was like, what was I thinking? I was actually about to sell it to my boy Two Twelve. Shout out to Two Twelve. Uh, he got one of my, I sold him a female, man. He's doing a real good job with it. He, every time he sent me a picture, she probably grand, gained by 300 grams. But, uh, yeah, I was about to sell her to him. Just because I didn't, I got other spot nose stuff. I got so much spot nose stuff that I was thinking I had too much of it. So, I, um, uh, but I decided not to sell her. I decided to keep her, man. And, uh, kind of, I'm really happy with my, with my decision to keep her. She, uh she's a real good eater man and uh she's a uh, she's young too she's a young girl and she's pretty big for her age so i got her in the summertime she was a she was a baby baby she was like smaller than mahogany female that i showed earlier but yeah uh great eater um uh, kind of feisty she ain't doing so much right now but you, she's always hissing at me but uh yeah i'm glad i didn't sell this girl we're gonna uh, keep her back for some breeding i'm thinking about going the black hair route uh probably trying to get some ultra male into the in her uh some clown of court well 
clown I got I got spot nose head clown stuff already so probably we're just gonna keep this ultra mill or desert ghost or go desert ghost route or even hypo we'll see about hypo but uh probably gonna go ultra mill first something other than leopard because I really got a lot of leopard ultra mill stuff I'm, I'm breeding that leopard ultra mill male to a lot of different females and uh some of those females a couple of those females have a spot nose in them so we're not gonna uh so i really want to go away from leopard spot nose and i have a, uh i have a male that's breeding to one of my ultra males i'm gonna show here next and i think i'm thinking probably a visual ultra male of him i'll put to her by the time she's ready to breed i should have one hopefully i have one fingers crossed but yeah this is my female spot nose yellow belly all right so every time i think i'm about to end the video i remember another snake to pull out i mentioned him in the uh i mentioned him while i was shooting the spot nose yellow belly so now i just have to just pull him out and show him off this is a uh, cypress yellow belly meal that i picked up man all right you two we back uh got this is a 2019 baby that we held back uh this is a super super entry orange dream spot nose uh, female, I actually kept a 1.1. The male is at a friend of mine's uh, breeding. I don't know, breed alone at the moment, so he's over getting his uh, he's over, my, over at my buddy's house getting a little breeding experience. I didn't have a female ready for him that I had, uh, I didn't have a female ready for him quite yet, so I just decided to let him go, go, uh. Go over with my with a friend of mine. He had a couple of females that was ready to breed, and that would go good with his genetics. So we uh, decided to just do that little little breed alone. Uh, so this is uh, like I said, uh, female super inch orange dream spot nose that I kept back. As you can see, she's uh, don't want to be still. But yeah, man, this 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 snake just came out amazing, man. I really like the colors i like the um, pattern everything so the next step to this is uh of course add probably add leopard more like i'm gonna add leopard and clown and um leopard and clown or more than likely i'll go uh, i believe i'm gonna go to desert ghost road with this one as well uh i might i got a yellow belly desert ghost male that i probably could breed her too or i might be having i might have something else coming uh, down the line with the desert with there's a ghost in it that I'll breed to this girl Still ain't made my mind up yet on that particular snake. So we'll see what happened. But uh, yeah, she'll be ready I'm pretty sure weight wise and size wise she'll be ready next season by the winter time uh, If she goes that's a different story, you know uh, We'll see we'll pair probably next season when she's about 2,000 grams. Uh, I think she about nine all right, guys, uh, back with a GHI Mojave female. I think this is one of the, this 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 combo has become one of like the staples of ball pythons, man. Probably one of my favorite combos to have is this one. And I gotta say, I appreciate my brother Stephen from uh, SP Reptiles for sending me this girl. He actually gave it to me. He gave it to me uh, a while back, man. I can't. It was probably around March. I got here in March and she's probably like 300 grams. Now I'm thinking she's probably closer to a thousand. Closer to a thousand or like 1100. So I think this this combo is actually a staple in the hobby now, man. I think everybody should probably have this in their collection. Beautiful combo. Just two simple genes. GHI Mo Hobby, man. And it makes such such amazing animals. Uh, what they when it comes together now, what are we gonna do to take it to the next step? Uh, Pied, Ultra Mill, Clown, Desert Ghost, you know, one or the other, or uh, what about uh, I don't particularly have this gene in my collection, but I think it would look nice with it. I think that a um, Sunset GH I'm gonna have it would look, would look crazy. Uh, so we're going to probably be working on that this 2021 season acquiring a sunset some type of sunset uh, male to uh, start working with but this is a this is a female GHI Mojave alright guys so 
Uh, I don't think I showed any males. Well, I showed my one male. Yeah, I showed the uh, Cypress Jelly Belly male. This is another male I picked up. Uh, I really wasn't like a big pie guy, but uh, a friend of mine, Royal Crab Reptiles, he got some beautiful pies, man. Kind of put me in that direction. Uh, this is an inch of yellow belly pie that I picked up from J JKR. He's a, uh, you see my wife keeping him at bay. He a little, he a little, he a little uh, mean little joker. He always trying to bite us. But uh, yeah, he's a good eater though. So we're gonna try to, you know, keep him, uh, keep him, uh, keep him fed and keep him happy. That way he can at least breed some girls for us while he trying to kill us at the same time. Little joker, man, he is the devil, man. He is not a nice snake. But, uh, but we like him, you know. Uh, what else can I say, man? We're gonna breed him to make some hits and double hits with this guy. Beautiful male, man. Beautiful guy. But, uh, y'all yeah, just stay tuned and watch out for what we got planned for him. Alright, guys, so. Next up is the Blackheads. Uh, this is the only one that's not a single gene. The other three are all sisters as well. They all came from the same clutch. I got all three of these. Uh, this one actually came from Status Quo Reptiles. Great quality female. Came from a good dude. Alright guys, so next up, it's going to be three blackheads. I just want to say that all the three of these blackhead girls were produced by S&P Reptiles. Well, S&P Reptiles. So all three of these girls, all sisters, all clutch mates, uh, this is actually the one that he, he gave to me. This is my female blackhead, and the other two are here in my care for the moment. Uh, I don't know if, how long I'm going to have them, but, you know, they're a welcome addition. And I do, I am making breeding plans with them, even though I don't know, you know, whenever he's ready to get them back, you know, I just send them back. But I am making, if they're here long enough to be bred, I'll breed them. But, uh... Yeah, this is uh, this is my my girl that I'm planning on breeding to my leopard ultra male when he gets the size. Um, I mean, when she gets the size, he's already breeding. Uh, so yeah, this girl, man, she's a quality example of blackhead. I really, really like, really dig this girl. Dig her colors. Dig how uh, saturated it is. How dark she is. All of these girls are really consistent when it comes to um, how they look. They all are exceptional quality. I actually believe they, they I know that they came from a super blackhead, and I believe that that has a lot to do with how nice they are. Uh, I believe that, in my opinion, supers throw, when they, when supers throw single gene animals. All right, guys, back with another blackhead girl. This is actually uh, probably the prettiest one of all of them. Uh, in my opinion, I like her dorsal stripe. She actually looks, exactly like my blackhead male that i have uh that i have yeah she looks exactly like him and uh this black is dark she's in shed now so you really can't see how dark she is but man she is beautiful and uh i got her switched over to frozen thaws i think she would eat frozen thaws if i if i ain't mistaken my boy stephanie told me she do she will eat frozen thaws she was just kind of picky with it but i got her switched over pretty smooth so i'm happy about that uh so we're just gonna keep raising these girls up like i said just like the sister that i have we're gonna keep raising them up uh they're they're a year and some change old I think they was born and uh they hatched out probably in june or july last year uh, 2019 so we're just gonna keep growing these girls up uh get them good and healthy and as soon as we can man we're gonna breed them we're gonna bring them make some nice stuff man i don't know which direction we'll go with these with her quite yet um probably haven't even made the meal that's gonna go with her but we'll figure it out when we get there uh i really like this girl man her blacks uh her, this black i like the black back on her i like that a lot yeah another ultra meal girl she was kind of wet so i sprayed it down earlier because she was in shed so excuse the the wet paper but yeah this is uh the second of the three ultra of the three black hair girls all right guys so this is the last black hair girl uh Another quality example of a blackhead, I say, man, my boy Stefan, he produced some cold, cold blackheads, man. Like, I, I can't, I, I got to give my boy his props, man. He really did his thing on this clutch. All these girls, every, and he got, it's, it was a big clutch, it was like 11 eggs. And a lot of people in our circle, 
got some of these babies and uh every time i see the babies they'll you know they'll post them up every now and then and you know you see the siblings and man they all are uh exceptional quality so he kept he actually kept three females back for breeding for itself he gave me one the first one that i showed that he kept he had these two left the ones i just showed uh, the one i showed before and this one so these were the two girls that he was gonna keep back for breeding uh, and uh like i said he ended up sending these to me when he needed to kind of downgrade a little bit so i like i said i have these for the time being and when he wants them back he'll get them back but uh hopefully they stay here enough time to drop a couple clutches um and we're able to uh produce some nice animals with them these girls are close to i see a lot of black kids now not to knock anybody or talk any trash to nobody man but i see black kids a lot of black kids that kind of look like normal and they might just be the picture it could be that the flash on or something it's kind of like dull in the snake eye but uh, uh but these girls man they're so dark and saturated man it's just it's, it's crazy how how beautiful they are man and how dark how rich that how rich they 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 uh they colors are especially like the blacks and the browns man is real nice but yeah beautiful black haired girl uh, i'm enjoying growing these girls up enjoying having them so uh I just can't wait to breed them. All right, guys, this is the last snake in the video. Uh, sorry, I've been MIA, man. I got a crazy job. I work on call. It's hard for me to just shoot these videos, and uh, I don't like putting up just putting up no shit. You know what I mean? I want to put up some quality. So, uh, yeah, man. Let's, as fast as I can get them out is when I get them out, man. I ain't trying to be YouTube famous. You know what I mean? I just want people that like my stuff to be able to see it. In real time and just not in no pictures. So uh, next video probably be some locks. Uh, I got some parents I got to make around the first of the year with some snakes that I paired up at the first of December. They uh, scheduled to get locked up again to be paired again uh, in a couple of days. So I will uh, probably record that and show that to y'all. So some of my my 2021 parents and what I got going on over here. So y'all just stay tuned and stick with me. Um, if you know, if you don't follow me, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube, go ahead and hit that hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, go ahead and like that video. If you dislike it, uh, I don't know what to tell you, bro. You know. Let's see what else. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Sick with the ball pythons. Uh, shout out to the squad. Y'all know who y'all are. A R B. San Antonio crew all my boys out here in San Antonio shout out to y'all shout out to s &P. shout out to uh, High Desert GP DB Big Reggie Reg at uh, Reggie Ur Urban Jungle who else uh, I don't want to forget nobody Texas Bell shout out to my girl Texas Bell my girl Splash Pack shout out to her who else man I don't want to forget nobody let's see shout out to uh my boy granddaddy herbs shout out to python barrow uh i'm just showing love man all the guys that always be showing me love when i post a video i'm trying to get everybody to know uh narrow down man but y'all know who y'all are man what's real ain't got to be explained too deep y'all have a blessed day